Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at adding a profile for Cura Engine so we can slice with inside Octoprint. Uh, because one of the things, uh, as you can see here, we have we're in the Cura plugin. However, I'm going to jump back for a second. I'm going to just save this and just jump back. So what we can do is actually here is upload a file to Octoprint and actually have it slice and print that file. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at but but the, the piece is, I guess I need to back up a little bit. When we go back into the settings and we go to Cura. Now it's not like Repetier Host you might be familiar with where you can go in manage slicer. There is there is simply no interface to manage the slicer from within inside Octoprint. So you have to manage it externally. And what do I mean? Well uh, you'll need to download Cura. Uh, I think it's 15, 15 or higher so I have uh, Cura 15.04 installed on my machine here and what I've done is I've gone through and I've installed the uh, or not installed but configured the various settings so my layer height my shell thickness and, and everything so I've done both the basic and the advanced to match the fabricator mini or my settings for this on the fabricator mini now keep in mind you will be able to create multiple and upload multiple any files or INI files to Octoprint and so you'll be able to select various slicing profiles uh, for for your various jobs so in this case uh, notice that I have the print speed set at 20 millimeters per second temperature of 205 no supports no platform adhesion uh, but, however, say you do want support, so you'll have to create another any for platform supports. And uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how, well, um, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. So also make sure you set the advanced, or at least I did. You can probably, you might be able to skip this. I think it's better if you just go through it and set it up for your printer. Uh, I'll put some of these innies, I think, out on the internet. There might be a little bit of a lag by the, between the time I post these, the videos, and the innies maybe make it out there. However, if they're not, I will update the show notes with the URL because I'll have to create some sort of landing zone for these that are semi-secured um, on the internet. So anyways, um, this is what it looks like. And so... Now what you do is you click file and you click, um, what do you click? Uh, not save profile, there we go. I had to think about it, it's early in the morning, sorry folks. So as you see, I've, I've put a couple out here. Now one of the things that I wanted to do is show you this. So um, because you don't get to see what the settings are inside Cura, inside the inside of Octoprint, what I do is is I have developed the code. So I, in short, use the three first three letters of the printer. I use an underscore. This is my old Unix habits coming out. Sorry, folks. Um, and then the material type. So this is focused on PLA. The temperature, and then supports zero. This is a zero, not an O. And then. Um, platform is also zero indicating that there is no there isn't is no that doesn't sound right that there is not a platform selection and then the innies put in there so as you can see I've already saved this here and so I'm just going to cancel out of this and then I'm just going to go back to uh, Octoprint so now again you'll go into settings you'll go to Cura engine you'll go import profile and then you'll browse for the profile and I have got that on my OneDrive and uh, here it is and then we'll open this and you notice it fills in all these and it's set to overwrite existing and I say confirm now you can see here it's now brought it in if I click the star this will make it my default profile and I'm going to do that. Um, 
then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here to Cura and then I'm going to say uh, support type and then I'm going to say touching build plate and then what I'm going to do is I'm now going to save this profile and then I'm going to click here so I can cheat a little bit and here I'm going to change this to one so meaning that there are supports and it's the first support so when I see this it's sort of my own coding if you will that that uh, uh, I have now a profile with supports. so I'm gonna click Save I'm gonna go back here I'm gonna do this all over again I'm gonna hit browse and then I'm going to find S1 and because notice that now it's the first one was S0 now I'm going to upload this and I'm going to confirm and see now this one is in there and then I'm going to go back and then I'm going to do a third one I'm going to say everywhere and then I'm going to do file again save profile I'm going to bring this in and then now this is going to become S2 if I get my cursor over there so S2 and then I can save and then whoops because I clicked outside of that box I have to go back so I'm gonna go back to Cura Engine import profile browse and then I'm gonna import again and then I'm gonna confirm so now I have I have three profiles loaded into Cura inside of um, inside of Octoprint so I now have my default set as no supports so uh, PLA 205 degrees C uh, no supports no platform so as my default now I can change these as I go to uh, uh, slice so I'm just gonna save this out and then I think what will be the best way is if we just say go ahead and try printing something and I'll show you how the the well I think I can do that now um, so let's let's uh, click upload and then let's just go find I've got a zillion and a half files on here so I'm just going to uh, pick um, a generic uh i forgot i gotta pick something which will fit um manual camera slider one inch feet platform jack let's try this so we'll open this and so we just picked we just picked an stl so now you can see here what's the slicer we're going to pick well we only have cure engine installed so uh, we're just going to pick a, a single profile we're going to pick fabricator mini uh, we have the G code file now what we can do is after slicing we have it set do nothing we can say select for printing or just start printing so since I don't have the printer set up at this this time I'm just gonna say do nothing because I just want to demonstrate how this works and then we go ahead and we click slice and nothing happens um, Oh, uh, this is the problem here. I've ran into this problem before. Uh, select a slicing profile uh, because notice slices is, is you can see it. It's still a little bit grayed out. Um, I'm going to cancel this. Um, I've ran into this problem before. Let's go down cure. I've got this selected. Um, need to save this. Let's go ahead and try this one more time. Uh, back. Uh, just pick a thing. It's not doing it. So I think. Um, to be, I'm, I think I'm going to have to restart Octoprint um, proceed yes so I'm gonna go ahead restart Octoprint and then let, let's see so um, this is probably actually a good learning experience coming through here so you'll get this big note um, when Octoprint goes offline so I just tell it to attempt to reconnect 
Okay, so I'm back here. Machines reconnected. Um, and now you can see the jobs inside of here. So uh, so I had the plat platform jack and the, X the Y build holder. So um, let's go ahead and let's slice this. Why is my slicing profiles not showing up? I had this problem before and I've forgotten how to fix it. Um, okay, so um, we finally got it to register the profiles. So this is something, uh, I, I've ran into this problem before setting up Octoprint and this is one of the things that I wanted to do. So as you saw that um, and, and again it's you know kind of good I don't I'm not going to edit the kind of glitches out of this because I want you to see it so we had the problem selecting the profiles the slicing profiles which we had uploaded now I restarted Octoprint and then toggled between select a slicer and Cura engine and then eventually it populated this pull down I think this is a glitch in in Octoprint because I've had this I've had this very same problem happen on on basically all my um, Octoprint installs, and it gets kind of frustrating. And this is one of the pieces that I want everybody to see: is 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 again, don't get frustrated. Um, it just seems to be a bug in the software, and and if you just mess with it enough, it's one of those things that just simply work. So this is where you would select the various profiles uh, that you know to, to slice with. So no supports supports just touching bed supports everywhere so uh, we're just going to select the first one and then I'm going to say slice and and uh, you can see down here it's going ahead and slicing and it is now sliced so and we see up here that slicing is done and we could go ahead now and you see down here we could just go ahead and send this you know load and print um, we can just load, we can remove it, we can download it, or we can do additional things, see, see what it's going to take. So we see the size of the file, we see the filament tool, estimated print time, 16 minutes, and that's what it looks like. Um, and we see here, if we go to G-Code Viewer, we can see a preview of the G-Code uh, that was used, that this is what it'll it'll print. So um so pretty cool now there's a couple different pieces you can see you know model information again estimated time here it's actually showing 21 minutes 15 seconds uh layer height information layer number um we can show moves so again we can show it being printed so that's how you upload um in any file uh to octoprint and uh slice it so we'll do more. So I, I've pretty much covered out all the real basics to this point of getting it to work. Um, again, all you do is have to click here. You can send it to the printer. And, uh, you know, again, if we look at the various pieces, just kind of a quick rundown. You can watch the temperature ramps. Obviously, watch the video. You can see the um, uh, control, you know, the preview. Uh, the terminal you can see the feedback so for example if you also want to send like a G28 we'll send G28 and then we'll go back and as you can see the G28 is is a home command so we can watch the printer home itself and you can see the z-axis now come down and home itself And it touches off, and in uh, in short, we're good. So uh, you can also do time lapse. So time lapse mode is off. You can do set it on. And, and the interesting thing with time lapse, and, and I'll probably do a video on this on Z chain. So it only take a, a, you know, a, in short, layer by layer image of the uh, print which is actually very cool you can set it for timed which means every so many seconds um, it'll it'll take a, a you know a image and you can set the frame rates and things like that so anyways I'll do a whole nother video on this in the future um, 
However, again, I just want to get everybody familiar with it. Now, again, keep in mind, just in closing, the, you, you know, uh, we haven't touched Linux at all. And that's what I wanted to do is I wanted to avoid touching Linux at all costs. Just, you know, for those folks out there that, that are interested in using Octoprint, um, I wanted to make it very easy. And, and again, but remember the the Linux passwords and IDs are still set to standard, so do not expose this to the internet. Ensure it's on your home network behind your router, you know, i.e. your firewall, and you've set up those other conditions with access control to Octoprint. And so if you do plan on sharing this out to the internet, please make sure you know what you're doing because poking a hole in a firewall, the internet is is an awesomely evil place these days and so be very careful so hopefully this has helped you um, set this up and you now have octopi running uh, whether it be for your fabricator mini or any other printer and again if you have any questions please hit me up below and i'll try answering them and uh, hey please give this a thumbs up i put a lot of work in putting these octopi and octoprint videos together and again i want to do many more showing some more advanced functions um, in future videos so keep an eye out for those and uh, hey cheers see you in the next video please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects